Hey, what's up guys? Terran Talks back here with the final episode of uh, Pokemon Storm Silver. As you can see, I am chilling on the summit of uh, Mount Silver. And um, yeah, I asked you guys uh, in the previous video to comment below to let me know if you wanted me to actually go through and face the E4 again and uh, do training up or training or blah, blah, blah before I got to red or if I should make this the last episode. And apparently no one cared enough to either get to that point in the video or to actually comment. So therefore I did it my own way. Um, I trained everyone up to level 85 and by train, well, these are my cave exploration team, uh, by the way, but by trained them up, I mean, went to the E4, beat the E4, didn't get enough levels, faced wild Pokemon around Mount Cave, Silver, whatever they're calling it, didn't get enough levels, then I said, sure rare candy hook it up so there we go everybody's level 85 now pretty sure that red is probably going to thrash me and trash me and all that jazz but here's what we're going to do i am just going to like throw some shit in here to make things a lot better um yeah let's give this let's, let's give dragon knight the dragon fang you know because he's a dragon you know he, he's pretty cool uh, choice specs. I'm gonna give that to David. I'm just gonna end up screwing myself here. Uh, let's see what else. What else should I give someone? I'm gonna give the um the uh King's Rock to uh good old Crobat here because Crobat's always awesome. And then for Neo, I think we'll hook Neo up with uh hmm. I don't know. Uh, don't really a quick claw. I think he's fast enough though. Huh? Actually, I should hook um. Not give him the choice band. That's cool. That's fine. Let's give him the choice band. Uh, I should technically have given the quick claw to Vaporeon because Vaporeon isn't that. Fast, but whatever. Anyway, let's jump into this final episode. Ellipsis. The super epicness of red comes through. Uh, chilling on the snow summit. He's like, yo, who the hell is bugging me? He's got his Pikachu out 94. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'm like, you know, nine levels behind. Not really a good thing. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to try not to fast forward through this entire battle. As much as my finger is itching to fast forward, I'm not going to do it. Um, let's go to Neo. Got the choice specs. I mean, choice ban on Neo. So, yeah. Thunder's going to miss. That's awesome. Just to make sure if I'm faster than this thing, I'm just going to use extreme speed. Since I have the choice ban that should actually boost that. Uh, which is going to be freaking sick, which should be a dead Pikachu. I think I'm just going to start leading out with Crobat. I mean, to be honest, I can just easily get like free switches with Crobat. Like easy, just because I can just U-turn. Not really free switches, but you know what I mean. Free, a little bit of free damage, I guess. I don't know. Charizard. So we're going to switch back out to Crobat. Now, uh, I want to confuse it, but I'm afraid it has something ridiculously powerful. So I'm just going to U-turn. Not that much damage being done, but, you know, considering. Also, these guys are going to serve as death fodder, so there's that. Let's bring in David. Might be able to throw a surf at it. Hmm. Fire Blast, all right. Hope it doesn't kill. I know I'm only five levels below, so it shouldn't do that much, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, I'm not sure how fast Charizard is. I'm not sure what other moves it has. Probably has Dragon Pulse or something, but I'm gonna use Ice, blah, 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 Surf. as Focus Blast. I was gonna say Ice Beam only because it was like highlighted. So I tried to like really avoid saying Ice Beam and ended up tripping over words to say Surf. I'm still alive. Awesome. Awesome. So it lowered the water's attack. We can serve power. Okay. Push show. 
kind of makes me wish uh, I had Blizzard on Vaporeon because since I'm chilling in this ice, you know, why the hell not? And since he's about to full restore, oh, he's withdrawing. <laughs> oh, I should have shadow ball. I was going to shadow ball in the first place. That was my original goal. My original goal was to use shadow ball. Um, pretty sure I'm slower than this thing. I'll still test it. I'll. Mm. All right, it only right. I gotta switch out. I forgot I'm choice spec. Ah oh, man, these these uh these options. It's stupid choice specs. I forgot. Power whip. I'm glad I switched out. That would have hurt a lot. Coming from a Venusaur to a Vaporeon. Um, from what I know, this thing is can't really touch Dragonite. Well, you shouldn't be able to. So I'm gonna Ice Beam it. Luckily for me, I'm not choiced on this guy. So, this gal. That should kill? Nope, almost. Almost. Power Whip is not gonna hurt me. Um. I'm predicting him to heal, so I'm just going to go for another Ice Beam. I would Dragon Dance, but I don't think I should. It'd be interesting, but I'm not going to. Because if I could Dragon Dance, probably set up for somebody else and use Dragon Rush, but with the, um, the accuracy of Dragon Rush being as low as it is, I'm not really sure if I want to risk it. Seeing as how I am in this battle a bit under leveled but I think I can I can pull it out you can be pulled out all I gotta do is just believe all right then the yellow this ice beam should kill can I get a crit if I get a crit it'll kill if I don't get a crit the ice should probably kill it the hell cool I got a super effective it wasn't a crit nice awesome sauce so next up, what we got? Probably Charizard's probably coming back out. I'm willing to bet Charizard's coming back out. Yes, it is. Now I know that Charizard is like probably faster than David. I said I was gonna risk it last time, but he switched out. So what I'm going to do here is just heal up because at this juncture, he's already used one healing element. I don't think he's going to heal again. And yeah, I can just wait. In. I can probably just heal stall and wait for that uh, blizzard to take Charizard out. Provided he doesn't, you know, heal up. Provided this dragon post doesn't kill me, which it probably will not do because I'm Vaporeon. I always like think, oh, it might kill me, but then I look, I'm like, oh wait, I'm Vaporeon, what the shit, I have a Vaporeon, I think it's powerful. He's gonna heal. Or not. I should've healed then. Huh. Did he use two already? I could've sworn I thought he only used one. I'm tripping, whatever. Survive? Oh, I love you, Vaporeon. Oh my gosh, you're so clutch. You're so clutch. The hell is gonna do like, say like eight damage at the most, not too much. Oh, that's too much. Damn it. Um, he's probably got his Blastoise. Uh, so yeah, cause I know it's red, so he has Blastoise, Espeon, fuck Espeon, <laughs> Blastoise, Espeon, and um, Snorlax left. So since Espeon is super effective against Crobat, I'm going to U-turn, use that super effective bug move and get the hell out of there. And I'm, I wish I would send out Vaporeon. Vaporeon is freaking dead though, so. But it's probably going to come through with a sidekick since it saw Erwin. Um, Death Fodder. I don't know yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I think I can survive a sidekick with Sequifa. If I can't, then I'll death fodder. 
I'm pretty sure that Dragonite can survive a Psychic. Dragonite cannot survive a Psychic from a godlike ass Espeon. Okay, so. Whoa. All right, so I'm just gonna like, you know, take out Jazzy and Zero just in order to heal up, um, what's their faces? To revive my, I, that's what I should say. So I'm gonna revive David and Shaquifa, and then I will um, switch into Erwin, hit it with the U-turn, and boom, bada boom. Thing has grass knot. Like what? I guess it, it's a counteractor for alligator if you had one. Actually, no, I'm good. I'll leave Shaquifa because I might not need it. Might not need it. I love U-turn, by the way. This move is so sexy. Okay, I'm gonna predict his Snorlax to come in. If it's Blastoise, then I'm pretty sure I can still set up off of it. I'm hoping I can set up off of Blastoise. He only has two left, I'm doing pretty good so far. Bringing in Blastoise. I don't have any grass types, but I'm gonna see if I can set up off of it. It's level 90. I'm gonna fake out. I have Steadfast, so my speed is gonna raise, which is cool. So that's Fake Out, probably Hydro Pump, probably something really terrible that I'm gonna regret using or not attacking because of whatever, yeah. Probably really powerful that I'm gonna regret attacking, not attacking, I should say. If I can survive this, I will be happy. Of course not, of course not, of course not. I should have attacked. I should have attacked. Lesson learned, okay. I need to bring him back to life, actually. Because I need him for, I, I, I need it for Snorlax. I definitely need Neo for Snorlax. Um. So I don't really have a plan here. Blizzard's 100% in the freaking whatever. So I can just fast forward that because we already know that's that was dead. Um, shoot. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna U-turn. Then I'm gonna go to David. You turn to David to uh, Shadow Ball. Damn, that did nothing. Fudge cakes. Is that gonna kill me? Hopefully not. Cool. Of course. <laughs> of course. So I'll just full restore real quick. Um, hopefully it doesn't have or get like any electrical moves. That would suck. But that like thunder punch or some shit, I'd be like, oh, that that's great. Dun, 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 dun. Signal beam. Okay, let's, let's hit him up with that freaking shadow ball, the ball of shadows. My best bet right now. And I am choice spec, so I most likely will be switching out. I should have actually freaking healed Lucario, but I might not need to. I should be able to come through, be faster than that Snorlax. I'm like really just, Banking on Lucario being faster than Snorlax and either Oko on him with um 
with the close combat or at least leaving them with enough health for health for Crobat to come finish him off with um new turn. So he uses his final full restore, I hope, which is his final full restore. But with the special defense drop from the previous Shadow Ball, I mean, this match right here is pretty much a done deal. I mean, even if uh, Vaporeon goes down, like, all I gotta do is bring in Crobat, Crobat can handle it, and then Lucario Crobat. So the, the MVP of the team is definitely Crobat. In this battle, that is. I think each of the members of this team have been like pretty much MVP at one point in life. Uh, in one battle, they've showed their significance. Alright, so Bla Blastoise is done. Last but not least is Red Snorlax. Let's hope it's not level 90 whatever like his damn Pikachu was. Alright, Neo, this is all on you, bro. Close combat, it hits, and it's super effective. He's level 88, and it's still it's, it's still moving. Though it looks like it froze for a second, it's still moving. Oh shit! Crit, get it, and it's done. It's super effective. Ladies and gentlemen, Snorlax has been down or laid out for the count. So I just I just beat Red because I'm cool and I'm the best. Not really. And with that being done, he's like, alright, I'm out. Then it's like whatever. He saves the game starts saving. So um yeah, that's pretty much gonna be the finale of Pokemon Storm Silver. It is no longer in effect. Let's play is finally done. If I had a sound bite right now, I'd play it. I'd be all like, Game over here! But I don't have it on cue. Actually, I can edit that in. So, uh, future me. You probably already did it. So, whatever. Um, the blank screen here. So, yeah, uh, that's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to reset to see if there's anything of. No? No awesomeness. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm signing out with this white screen because it doesn't work anymore. Peace out.